Nice hill. So, if you didn't catch the thread earlier, The Evil Within 2 is a sequel to a hyper-complicated plot of a game. And in the first game, this is really quick, we're doing it with as few spoilers as possible, we're only outlining main plot points, there's a huge ton of detail we're missing, and some of this is going to sound a little mis bit misleading because without the detail, it's uh, not really clear. You play a detective, Sebastian. Ah, you play a detective who is called to a mass murder scene with his partners. They get split up. He gets chased by monsters, etc. You find out that you're actually in a virtual reality, being controlled by a by a bad guy, and um, he has the ability to alter virtual reality with his thoughts and pulls out things from your subconscious and his subconscious fears. And then, um, he was funded by a huge evil organization called Mobius. And Mobius, of course, now that this guy has taken over the stem. Yep, that's the evils within is your subconscious, like thoughts. Kind of. It's a little bit more nuanced. Like we said, hyper complicated story. We're trying to dumb it down. So, the huge, the huge secret organization company... Wants back control of their tech because this guy has taken it over even though he was the developer but they paid for it and funded it so they want it back. So they find a person who is compatible with the system that is currently linked to him. But she has a close enough brain pattern that she could be plugged in in place of him. So they send her in with you and another character to try and like and get her in place. He absorbs her because he thinks if he takes her over he can get back into reality. But then, you d you kill him. You kill him. And get out of the virtual reality. One of the side effects of the virtual reality is when things are changed, you get a sharp headache pain. So you get out, you kill him. You start leaving the building, there's a bunch of cops around, because obviously violent shit's going down. You see the girl who you sent in that he absorbed walking away. You get the huge pain in your head. When you look back up, she's gone. And that's the end of it. So, I have avoided as many spoilers as I can in every way. How about the every tier of at least $5 you feed me a cat treat? You know we had that on a point reward? For a long time. And, uh, Diz got fat. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but Diz got fat. The first game implied that you were probably out, but it was left unclear on purpose. Especially with, with you seeing Leslie, who was the character that the bad guy absorbed, walking off and then disappearing. That could have been a flashback hallucination kind of thing from your time in the stem, which is what the virtual reality system is called. Or maybe you're still in it. Or maybe the bad guy got back to the real world in her body and ran off. And you don't know. That was where it ended. It ended, it ended absolutely purposefully ambiguous. The game was run... The game was designed by one of the creators of a bunch of the Evil Dead games... And it shows. Yeah, she ran away from STEM. Does that sound like a right-wing talking point or what? What the fuck? But that is where we are now. That is where we are now. This game picks up, as we understand it, a couple years later. We don't know the plot. We, we know a very basic part of the plot that we're not even going to tell you because it should show up in the pre-story for this, in the intro. Because that's as far as we've let ourselves know about it. I have water. I have water. I am playing mouse and keyboard. Um, Evil Within 3. Originally, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo was supposed to be Evil Within 3. But early in production, they completely rewrote it into a different game. 
we will have to pee because we have water. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, sheesh. Ah, uh, this game does capture our mouse, so we're gonna have a hard time typing or doing stuff while we play. I just, for proof's sake, there is no save data. We have not played this at all. I guess we could have deleted it, but I don't know if you can delete saves, because we haven't played it! Um... After... Revengeance. I did decide that y'all were right. And the point of the game is to have fun. There are built-in game cheats for infinite help and stamina. They are not turned on, but if we hit a point that is frustrating, I will leave it up to y'all if I can turn them on or not. I am, however... playing on fucking casual. The first game was ridiculous. It had shitty aim. I mean, some of the worst aim I have ever seen in a third-person shooter. And the enemies hit like a Mack truck. So, I... it is frustrating. It is really, really frustrating, and that's why I didn't decide to stream it. That, too. I want to go through the game, experience the horror, have fun getting scared shitless. And, uh, move on. So, casual. Aim assist is... Yeah, fuck it. I'm taking the advantages. I am here to be scared, not to, uh... Oh. Boom engulfed and flamed. Tragic fire kills child and nanny. Yeah, yeah, kind of noticed that, but I could switch to controller. I could. I cannot fucking aim with a controller. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm non binary, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that timing, holy shit. <laughs> that timing. Wait, am I actually playing? I'm actually playing. Quick, there's a little girl in there! Oh god, Lily! Oh god, Lily! E to open the door. Can I get in here? I've gotta save Lily! Damn it. Okay, come on. Lily, I'm here. Where are you? Oh god, is she upstairs? Okay, is she upstairs probably. Hopefully bears. Yep, hallway around. How did this happen? In an actual fire, by the way, he should have broken the back window there on his way past. Because that way, if he gets her down... He could, you I'm know, coming, get her out. No, on. don't... Okay, come on. Dude, you're a cop. Have better endurance. I'm here, Lily. I'm here! How do I crouch? Oh, well, thank you. Our control tutorial is trying to rescue Lily, apparently. Lily? Come on out. Oh Lily? no. Where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. True, but he's not thinking that clearly. But breaking the window seems like something you would think- Oh god! Okay, dream sequence. Got it. Oh, this hits so many of our buttons. Oh god! Her face, that- We are 30 seconds in! 
And I've gotten to see a fleshless child face. Skinless child face. What the fuck? Hello, Sebastian. Kidman was the other person who went into the stem with you at the end of the last game. Years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. She was uh, a member of the Big Secret Organization and was essentially brainwashed into it. Find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was going to happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. But he didn't have any Weird echo on the vocals here. You do. You're gonna tell me about Mobius. Real quick. I'm gonna turn up the audio on the game a little bit. Is that okay with y'all? Let me know if it's too loud. I'm here no, the Lily thing is all new. I I don't remember that at all. This was written. I don't think there was supposed to be a second one originally. Where did you get this? Lily's still alive. <gasps> yeah, Mobius is a little bit close to Morpheus, especially for a game that basically was involved in you were trapped in the Matrix. Lily is dead. I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily because you're a member of a freaky secret she's organization. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? <laughs> Because they work? wanted him in the stem thing. I guess. I don't know. Your hands off me. No, Mr. Anderson. I expect you to go. Holy shit, dude. Ooh, drugs. Okay, calling it now. He got injected and they put him into stem. We don't have time for this bullshit. Calling it now. We need you. Lily needs you. Turning, turning off the air in this room. Being in Texas, I run a air conditioner all day. It is hot here in hell. Good. Yeah. Great. And at night, okay, I can look around. Where are we? Yeah, I'm doing that. In one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. I'm in a wheelchair. I'm strapped to a wheelchair. Right. That so means someone is pushing me. Kidnap a washed up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor. Ex-cop, we got fired or we quit. This bullshit. Where's Lily? Because in the last one I was a cop. All your answers are right here. Oh shit. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was an unfortunate setback. Where are you? But we used a knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. This is a big STEM thing, they just told you. What does this have to do with my daughter? So the way STEM works is it's hooked Imagine into a brain at the center that controls it. Of minds connected that's, together. that's why the bad guy in the first one wanted the body was because he was just a brain. Happiness for one. Is happiness for all this machine this miracle will allow our species I, to I apologize greatness. honestly I figured we'd be we in it already when we woke up that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities the mind of an innocent child So the trick with STEM is that if your brain is set up right, you can actually control the um, reality a bit. The central brain 
Yeah. Has Thanks more control. The new stem has been a smashing success. Excellent. Oh, he's creepy. He looks like the agent from uh, Old Half Life. A little over a week ago. The uh, Mr. X or whatever his name was. Just stop sending signals. Oh no. Then the stem environment began to collapse. So, like I said, one brain runs it. Technical glitch. An easy fix. So we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and stem went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. It I does. It sounds like a w no. and not only the the, uh, the bad guy in the first one absolutely was not plural, but had had psychotic breaks. Failed to do before. I have never met a system that legitimately supports like a hundred personalities. That seems like an awful die. lot of work for the hardware. It's your choice. Honestly, if everyone in my system is active and awake, I get tired quicker. And there's only five of us, and one's a cat. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members. So, like, find having some people have, like, many more than us. But they have the same goals as you do. Yeah, yeah, it's tiring. Your brain gets fucking tired. Just remember to call me the moment you find Millie. So that we can begin the extraction process. Do I do I call you on a phone to get a hard line? Honestly, that sounds pretty much right. Oh no. That that didn't sound ominous at all. Crack knuckles, crack knuckles. Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. Okay, and back into STEM. <laughs> this is going to be so STEM disturbing. In three, two, one. Oh shit. Looks like it. That's really cool. Honestly, like fucking great graphics. What the fuck? Oh, that's a, that's a beautiful intro screen. That is amazing. That is legit, just, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Is this? Oh, I can move. I? Sprint, consume stamina, okay. There's the house. Oh shit. I'm coming, Lily. I know it's hard to accept Lyra. But she's gone. Oh, this is this is fucked up. Girl is gone. No, no. I'll never accept it. You hey, you have heard me. What the hell is this place? Oh shit. We've got a call. All units, all units 1199. Let's go. Cover code 3. Beacon Metro Hospital. And I'm blind. That is a shack. 
No, that's a desk. With a phone. Oh shit, I'm gonna call to get a lift out of the Matrix. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe. That would make sense. But I think Leslie was taken over by, uh, Hello? Rudovic in the first one. Sebastian, are you there? Kidman? What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Remember the head no headache thing? It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. Okay. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from Oh, what was that game? My memories, huh? There, there was a one-room horror case, game. Where my wife and child? This place looks well, not like one room, but you left your ho you were stuck in your hotel room. You left your hotel room. It was the yeah, one of the offshoot Resident questions. Evils that got a bunch of shit. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? It... Yes, Silent Hill. For, no, Silent Hill. You're right. Silent Hill for the room. Um, your main character was stuck in his hotel room. Drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. No, I was wrong. Not Resident Evil. Oh, that is like one of the most hated games I've ever seen in the horror genre for a AAA game. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Okay, apartment. You're right. But it was like room 304 or 305, something. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Uh, because it completely changed the rules for Silent Hill. They were trying to go in a different direction, but ended up kind of destroying the canon for Silent Hill in doing so. If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Basically, it was a Silent Hill game that wasn't a Silent Hill game. Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, and like a large portion of the game was escort missions that weren't great. Wait, I just got the... Ah, uh, Evil Within, your system is so fucked. Union, huh? Looks like any town USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. You know, canvas the area. And that is a really fine balance to draw. There is... Real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. Sleep well, Foy. It was good anyway, seeing okay? you. All of you. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. Okay, Before so they don't have access system, into STEM, they can just send people in. Leave their consciousness trapped in the okay, so first of all, that means I'm trapped here. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find... God, he has a really emotive expression set. You and everyone else inside like, that face has personality. He's the guy I should try to find first. That makes sense. Can I look up? To, yep, okay. Harrison. There oh, needs to be a center dot on the screen for where I'm looking at. Hopefully he can take care of himself. Because it's not quite in the very center of the screen, it doesn't feel like. And it may just be my perception thrown off by the fact that I'm not in the center of the screen. Combat specialist. I feel like the medic would be the most important, to be honest. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Ok, 
Okay. This is teaching uh, me how to use the actual Tech. mouse, though. At least though. he has some small arms training. Okay, what else have I got in here? Dude, for a cop, you cannot run. My first commendation. Feels like another lifetime. Sebastian Castellanos. Yes, Obviously, that was another chance for us to get our name. Anything else up here that I can look at? Can I put on a jacket? No, I guess it's not gold. If this is... Cat. I don't ever remember owning a cat. Mm-hmm. This gets to be in-game. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? Oh, okay, that's that's what the intro's Wow, that's bright. Kidman, you there? You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her. You wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. God. Okay, I get it. You They're doing a good way. job of setting up the you relationships from the first game, though. Your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to water, be water, water. Lost. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. And that is the only slide I have. Oh. Cat's leading me to stuff, it looks like. Okay, so that's our ability collect. Incoming Otaku Chef 9 Raid. Oh, hey! Hey, Chef, how's it going? I assume that Lancey is with you. <laughs> Everyone, Chef's back. Along with, uh... Some oh, crap. Some viewers, we're doing like The Evil that. Within 2, just starting it, in fact. Out. Okay, so that's our exit. Where's the cat now? Hey, Lancey. Oh, I bet. How'd you do on it? We're investigating a bit and seeing if there's anything else that's useful in here. Ah, I already said hi to Chef. I like it when you and Chef come by. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> I'm glad I have the speakers turned off. Diz would just be sitting here going Meow! in response. Cat, cat, cat. Oh, that's good to know. Let's save. Your name is not Bad Kitty. Kitty! Did I, I can't pet the cat. That's lame. Here we go again. Into the oh, oh no. I'm really happy with the little bubbles after raids. That's pretty fun. Oh no. 
Oh no! Lily, what's wrong? Aw. My doll's head is broke. Oh my god, they're gonna make it's me okay. care about the kid. Mom can fix it for Pop you. up video. She can fix anything. Back when music television channels played music. That ended in what, the 90s? No. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you alright? Oh I've no. Got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here. Man. Oh, this is... You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? Please tell me every time I go through a portal, it's not going to, like, pull a tearjerker. Well, this is... Okay, expect me to die... a lot. Is this the right place? I don't think that was an option. I I agree what the hell Okay, can't open the side doors. I am a fucking police officer and I can't run worth a shit. Is this? This is literally a stage. Okay, X police. In the original, he'd only run for about five. For about five seconds at max. William. William. I can't read that. Maybe it's on the plaque over here. True. William Baker. Oh, this has- this- this is gonna fuck with us. I have a flashlight. Fuck that. It's gonna attract something. I know it. Can't open the doors. I don't like V for flashlight, but it's a pretty standard control. Oh god. What the hell? Is that person's head cut? What the fuck? That's one of the search team. Baker. That is someone blowing out the back of their head. <laughs> the stage lighting makes it extra creepy, to be honest. I haven't played horror games in so long. So it's a. Ah! Why did that get to me? <laughs> the team leader. One bullet. Straight through the head. Oh, this is creepy as fuck.
Can I please turn off the record player now? Lame, the flashlight is just strapped to our hip and turns on and off. I don't want to go in there. Okay, let's go in there. Whoever did this must have enjoyed it. That's blank. That is fucked up. This is a serial killer room. If they jump scare my ass, I'm gonna scream and turn off the game. Okay, I'm gonna scream. I might not scream. What the- God damn it, it's actually bothering us already. Just a sec, got a message. Okay, um... I... This is fucking creepy is what this is. Okay. Old school, uh, we don't show reflections. Because processing power. A lot of briefcases that all look the same. Yep. Someone tried to block the way out. I have a deep-seated fear because of playing things like Alan Wake that uh hey Gage uh that if I have a flashlight on it will attract shit supernatural shit responds to flashlights in my brain Okay, turned it on so we could see outside. Okay, legit. Hey Gage, this game's creepy already. I I've only been playing it for half an hour and I'm already kinda wanting to pee myself. This game's scary. <laughs> Fuck! Really? I most modern games are not scary. Hello? <laughs> Shit. Who was that? Manuela Roberto. But I can't get in. If anyone is trying to keep track, Manuela Roberto, room 103. I am not taking notes. If we have to know that, I'm trusting y'all. Um. Do -do 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 -do. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> no, no, I'm just. Fuck. Gate. Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Hey! Damn it! What's going on here? I no longer have chill about horror games. This could be bad. In. An. Congratulations, Truth Seek. Thank you for taking our spiritual activity test. We're pleased to welcome you to the next level of knowledge. Please report to the nearest Moo Center with this letter to ascend. Scientology! Lies, lies! That room is blocked. Grand. So we are in the grand. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go pee soon. So, quick note. As I get creeped out, I have to pee more. Don't, no. This art is not helping. If I just close my eyes, something's going to kill me. Just fucking leave, Sebastian. Don't go in there. pee so much now. Uh-uh, that's a body in a chair. That's a fucking body in a chair. Don't go. And a bunch of red curtains for shit to hop out of. Where'd the dead body go? This is so not okay. And it's saving! I have never seen a more threatening autosave. I'm closing my eyes. Not really. Oh shit. Oops. Shit. Space hold inner cover when the cover icon is... I have to pee. Is there a way the fuck out of this room? Who the hell was that? Run! Run, bitch! I gotta find a way out of here. Oh my god! Oh, 
Ah, one sec. Coughing fit. Um. I will go pee in a second. I'm not going in there. That's a big clock pendulum. Ah, that's the body from earlier! Oh shit. Can't go that way. Oh my god, I don't have to pee that much yet. Give me a couple minutes. I will go pee. Rebirth. That must be Lily. Not Lily, um... Holy shit! Incoming um, Necro of MX Raid. Hey, Necro! We're, we're doing Evil Within 2. It's... it is terrifying. I am... we're just at the beginning and I am about to piss myself. <laughs> so hey, Necro's gang! Necro is not a VTuber. Necro is a real person who streams mostly retro games and metroidvanias and is really awesome just as a human being. Anything over here to see? Anything over here to see? Yeah, Necro is awesome. Please go ahead and check out Necro VMX if you get a chance. Mike BLKH Art is a dreamer now. Oh, shit. And thank you for follow, Mike. Um. Yeah. Hey, Moogs. Oh, holy shit. That's cool. Go ahead and tell everyone what you were playing. Because seriously, your streams are a great goodness. And I am happy every time I get to hop in and watch one for a little bit. Salt and Sanctuary, which is a Metroid... I was watching it and I couldn't play it. I wish I had a gun. I'm just gonna duck in here in the dark because it feels like that should hide me more. Oh god, yeah. I am unabashedly playing on... Yes, I know that. Unabashedly playing on casual on this game. Yeah, the animations in uh, Salt and Sanctuary are amazing. All the art in that game that I saw. I don't want to see that. I just, I don't want to see it.
So I've been thinking, we're going back this way. Okay, right. Play the game. Something. <gasps> There's a big eyeball on the, on the, on the wall. It is the eye of... Th I don't want to be back here. Is there a way out of this room? Uh. Oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit. Room's gone. Was that the teleporting guy again? And now there's a door! Oh god. The Evil Within 2. It is a survival horror game. Um, where you are wired into a virtual reality that's being controlled by a mind we don't know who's yet. But how much is that doggy in the window? No, don't stand up! Ah! Oh, shit. I agree, oh shit. Hey, the eye got way more complicated. Me too. I have seen way too many horror movies that involved the trope that cameras steal your soul. Oh no, that's the picture of me. In fairness, that was the face I made in real life what too! Fucker! <laughs> 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 Move, bitch! Get out the way! Get out the way! Get out the way! Oh shit! That worked! Okay. Um. We don't even have a weapon. I don't even have a gun. I don't even have an attack button. I'm not kidding. I would not have slid down that shit. God damn it. What the hell is that thing? Okay, can't push the grate. My heart is going so fast right now. You for <laughs> And I can no longer run. Quick T pose to assert dominance against evil. Hey, kind of cool. I could actually see a distorted reflection of my face in that. Okay, cannot open grates. Take that as a rule for now. Well, I don't hear it. 
Yeah, because so far, what we expect to happen has been a great indication of reality here. Oh, holy fuck! I don't care, dude! Oh, shit. What the absolute fuck is going on? Ha! Ah, I have a knife now! Bitch, run! Oh my god. I have to pee so much. I, I hate that that's my reaction to fear. Okay, this is a good point. Um, we've been streaming for about an hour and a half, a little bit under. Gonna go ahead and run an ad break real quick. Sorry about that, everyone. I have to pee because apparently I get scared and then I have to pee. And I... Aha! I can't use the knife. That's... <laughs> Home decorating magazine in this house. That is oddly... Uh, good humor, good humor. Interior now! How do I use it? Oh, that's good to know. Usually I put my medication on zero. That's not an option here. I'm actually going to put it on one. Then we're going to use it anyway, because I don't like running around this horribly hurt. Flashlight. Great, now I'm opening doors and I start breathing heavier. Oh, here's a clue. Just got the call. Now I know the reason for all the weird shit that's been happening in the past few days. The happening the last few days. It's the worst possible scenario, but at least I don't have to pretend anymore. The things I've seen, they've all changed. It's too late to save them. It's time put to put my training to practice. May God have mercy on their souls. And mine. Well, that was creepy. Apparently we get a crossbow at some point. There was a crossbow in the first one, too. Do we have to click on these to take off the star? Yeah. Okay. The one slide. Okay. That's a knife. That's no knife. This is a knife. Anyway. Can I hide in here? That doesn't look foreboding at all. I'm gonna open this and it- Oh, thanks, shit. <laughs> Trouble! Night, Ennui, I love you. Trouble is playing with stuff behind us, and we got a jump scare from our she from our puppy. Oh shit! Yeah, gun. Let's do that. Where were you when I needed you? Okay. Um. Maybe this is the right place. 
this doesn't feel like the right place in, in any way, shape, or form. I'm almost playing with a squeaky toy. <laughs> Oh no, that's, that's dark. That's so dark. What did I get myself into? Kidman? Sebastian, where have you been? We lost you. I don't know. But it sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here, doing things that are... It's like beacon um, all over again. Because I've gotten what the, fuck the did you just send me into. I don't know. We're in the dark. Yes, that. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, in the first one, the reality was constructed out of your memories and mind. So while it's not real, it was yeah. true, if that makes sense. Sure. At least on an emotional level. Okay, so that's going to be one. That's going to be three. No, four. Okay. Okay, the mouse is perfectly still. See the sight moving? Just as real, only one neuron. Just one brain cell. This is going to go very interestingly. Look, I found yellow herb! Oh my god, I did find herb. I like that it highlighted it, though. So, one of the big changes to this game, supposedly, is that it's much more open world. The first one was very much a corridor run. Um, and when it becomes... <laughs> and when it becomes open world, while you can explore, you also risk running into some horrible shit. Poor son of a bitch. Left here to rot like this. If you hear the little squeaks, that's trouble playing with this toy. What's going on is he wants me to stop streaming and play. I know, baby. Don't worry, Sebastian. It was just a small, quiet town. Did you really think it was yeah. going to be a small, quiet town? Too quiet. Yeah, so was Silent Hill. Okay. Oh, that's a bad Whoa. thing. Hey! She had to have heard me. Better check it out. I am so on edge. Avon calling! Hello. Hello! Have you heard the word of our Lord Jesus? Oh no. Clean your plate. You gotta eat skin and bones. No, no, no. That's a dead child! Candy Graham! That's a dead body, dude. Oh, that's terrible. Just shoot her. Don't, don't try and talk. Just shoot. Oh no, it's gonna clink against something. Well, don't bug the cat, baby. Oh, suck! Of course I dropped the fucking gun.
It reminds me of a rage zombie, like 28 Days Later style. I am vibrating. I am, um... Oh god. Oh shit! Bitch. Hey, I got some more green goop. Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Oh yeah, new shit. I did. I learned that it really is like beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Oh god. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. Lily, remember, is his daughter who he had thought died years ago in a fire. She was moving. We are playing on casual, so we should have ammo. Okay, checking something. Okay, I have to aim to use the gun. So the knife is always there. <laughs> What's that? Ammunition. It's creepy ass fucking pictures everywhere. So part of the reason why I put it on casual, honestly, is because I have a tendency to try and double tap everything. And I don't mean, like, fear react. It's a thing from playing old Resident Evils where if you killed something, there was a chance that it would get back up unless you shot it in the head again. Yep, yep. And my brain just always said, getting close to a zombie, even if it's on the floor. Let's try, let's see if we can take the knife to those boards on the door up there. No. 
Yeah, as long as you have not done this game and are basically following a walkthrough, suggestions are more than welcome. I really do prefer that this feels like a community stream. Hey, look, it's a bed. We could take a nap. Um, and part of that is I like the idea of us playing games. On the other hand, if you just want to chill out, you're cool. Okay, he died in bed, and the mom dragged him downstairs. Yep. Why can't I take the car? Yeah, I'm just saying that every once in a while I have had someone come into a game like this and go, so here's the thing you should really be doing. I know, I've beaten it four times. Invisible wall. That's a bot. Empty car, that means there's a bad guy around. Oh, break crates. Good thing to know. Ammo! Thank crap! Reload! More gunpowder! Oh hey! The ability to upgrade weapons! Apparently I can't break that box. Can I climb up here? No. Gonna be honest, this just makes me feel safer. Why can't I take a car? I have come to you today to preach the word of the Lord. Those rustling noises are freaking me out. They did a good job of the setup. I am right the fuck on edge, even though I'm not like terribly scared right now. I'm an ex-cop. Stealing is just fine, especially if it's someone's weed stash. This feels like a huge mistake. I am getting back on the road. Final Fantasy XV taught me the road was safe. Okay, that's valid. Lancey, you have a point. Okay, to be perfectly honest, I was planning on running away. Holy shit, they've got good guns. Why don't I? Sneak mode, F to- okay, that's cool.
Cool. They're all busy over there. Sit in wheelchairs. By this car? No? Hey, I... We'll miss things. I am on edge and likely to miss things that I would normally see. So. Oh, okay. Let me kill this guy and we'll go back. Shit. Oh, don't! I didn't want you to open the damn door. And quick time action, tap, tap, tap. Oh, fuck. All right. Hopefully that'll hold. So the game keeps turning back on my flashlight without my approval. Nothing in the bathroom. Don't come any closer. Oh, okay, safe room. Okay. Calm down. Right, there's a safe room on the map. Don't shoot. I'm not gonna Hands up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what are you chewing on? Oh, okay. You're good. You can lower your gun. I'm on your side. <sighs> You're not Mobius. You might not be one of those things, but that doesn't mean you're on my side. You're right. I don't work for Mobius, but I was sent here by them. Have you seen what those things out there? What they can do? Yeah, I have. Lucky for you, your partner was willing to sacrifice himself so you could escape. Not the best VA the right there on the, uh... He was just a member of Union Side character? Detail. Protecting me was his job. And my job is but, to solve a hardware but. issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. Sorry, I'm not um... A soldier. Totally serviceable. Technician. Like, not bad, just not amazing. Sebastian has a really good VA. Does anyone recognize him? I don't. This isn't a trivia question. I'm actually curious. A soldier would have taken the safety off. I told you. We're on the same side. Let's try this again. I'm Sebastian Castellanos. The weird echo to his voice is starting to get to me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, fucking trick or discipline. Like, they did a good job of the character. Liam O'Neill. Hi, Liam. So you're not Mobius, but they sent you in here? Why? I'm looking for my... I'm trying to restore the core. Just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. They can't extract you. The audio mix leaves no, something Lily's to be not. desired. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonated the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Trouble, are you trying here, to get in bed under the desk this. again? Okay. Hi, Sounds baby. like a little girl, right? Quiet.
I'm petting Trouble because Trouble wanted attention. It's Was time for right? sleepy puppies. The core? Uh uh, no so. mouthing on my wrist. I've been taking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator can pick it up too. You're a very Once good you're baby when you're not trying to mouth me. See. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It Trouble is almost five months old, so there is still the some uh, puppy puppy. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay down. Here, I guess. Evil Within 2, Chapter 3. <laughs> nope, first we're talking. So you've been stuck in here a week already? Has it been that long? Damn. See, time's a little fluid in here. This was supposed to be a simple in and out job. Like, home and time. Okay, there's gonna simple, be time shifts. This is different than anything I've ever seen before. What do you mean? Wonky stuff usually happens when a core goes AWOL, but what's happening is more than that. This place is falling apart at the seams. We used the stable field emitter, but it's not working like it's supposed to. What's the stable field emitter? Mobius sent you in here. Shouldn't you know this? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some Silent Hill vibing going on. There were five I keep wanting to hit space to select it, but it's E. There was a force already in here to help us. But yeah, there are five search team members. W wait, did you just say were? I found Baker. He's dead. Huh. Doesn't surprise me. He locked onto a powerful signal and went to investigate. I told him we should just request extraction and report our findings, leave the dangerous work to somebody else. But he wouldn't hear of it, being team leader and all. Always had to be the brave one. You ask me, there's a thin line between brave and foolish. Yeah. Okay, um... There's a thin line between prudent We're gonna play with audio and options a bit for a sec tomato. after this. I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead. I'm gonna... What kind of asshole do you think I am? Can y'all hear the voices okay? The others are okay. I'll let you know if I find anybody else. You'd really do that? Thanks. Real question. Remember, my audio feed isn't yours. Okay, y'all can? I'm going to turn up my volume then. It's more dangerous out there than I expected. Any idea? God, that bad reverb. A fucking bad artificial reverb signal, is gonna drive me nuts. Didn't hear it. Well, I'm all ears now. I picked something up from two Mobius security team members who were talking about weapons caches. Maybe you Ooh. can follow it and get some gear. Maybe they're out there, can help you out. In the first Not one, you could raid trash cans and boxes I'm for all gear. Alone in here. I could use some protection. Maybe if you hadn't let your last guard take the fall for you. Whatever. I'll mark the signal on your communicator. Follow it or don't follow it. I don't care. Uh, I'm following it. I want more guns. Those things are pretty tough. It takes a lot of ammo to get them off my back. Do you have anything stronger in here? Not in here, but you could probably find some out there. This place was designed to be peaceful, but Mobius and firepower go hand in hand. Do you know where I can find some of this firepower? It's pretty chaotic out there. You're not going to find a pile of heavy-duty weapons altogether. But I did see something useful next to an abandoned APC just outside. I'll mark oh, the shit. location for you. But be careful. There are a lot of those things hanging around. Okay, so this is the risk versus reward thing. Yeah, that overdone reverb is a little much. Like, that's not how you create room tone, people. You use subtle reverb. Okay, Q. There's a save point. We're going to maintain two foot two save slots, so we can switch back if absolutely needed. So we'll just be alternating between them. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're a wank. <laughs> Why does the coffee maker only make one cup? That's like an eight cup pour. Hmm, coffee. God, I miss drinking coffee on stream. It takes the edge off. Ten bullets. Eight bullets. A medical syringe. 
It is a pretty big mug. It is not an eight cup mug. That's about the size of my breakfast mug. You know why mugs in games are so big, right? It's easier to animate the hands if you don't have to close them all the way. Oh shit. We can upgrade our weapons? I have five weapon parts. Wait, there are tabs? Home and end. That's terrible. Okay, there's only one tab right now anyway. We need 85 fucking weapon parts! 85! So obviously that's not happening right now. Got an achievement called DIY for that. <laughs> Don't talk to me until I've had eight cups of coffee in the morning. Okay, should probably... Oh, not doing that. Not doing that if we can avoid it. Is that some more parts? That's some more parts. Reload your gun, you dumbass! There we go. I was already pulling out my gun. Oh! What Portal! The... Who is that? Do we want Portal or do we want to go, um. Let's go back outside if we can. We can! Because if I go. Just outside. Ooh! Crossbow. I am already regretting this decision. Oh, okay, it keeps me from doing it anyway, because I moved the damn bookcase in the way. Got it. Eight cups of coffee is a bit much. Our cup probably holds about two and a half cups, and we usually only have one these days. Um, that is because when we were much younger... Tell me. I had a huge caffeine addiction. Okay, so no new dialogue. That's just in case you didn't finish the dialogue tree. Nice that they put it there so you can finish it out. Do we go through the mirror, or should I go out this door?
Yeah, I kind of want the crossbow. Like, a lot. I don't know how to use the communicator because I'm stupid. Oh, okay, it's automatic. Okay. Because it is, because there are a lot of public domain recordings. Looks pretty far away, but it's the only lead I've got. God, I hope it's Lily. Must be the signal O'Neill mentioned. Suck it up, James. We've been through worse than this. This does not make me well. Uh, when they said the world was literally falling apart, apparently that was not an exaggeration. Gun out, asshole. What the hell? If it keeps breaking apart like this, there won't be any union to search. I gotta try to find that signal. Checking something with the map. Okay. So it faces where my camera does, not where I do. Along the road. Sorry, doing... Along the road and to the left, after the next building. more parts. That gets us up to 45. A basic damage upgrade was 85. Anything back here? I see a light source. And a guy who I can hopefully stab in the back to not waste ammo. And he has an axe! Give me that axe, motherfucker. Oh, okay. And some gunpowder. Okay, so that locked on to the Mobius signal. Wait, what? I didn't want to use the axe! I don't have a choice. Okay.
a fuse uh, to craft stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought they meant that I could choose to replace the knife with it. I'll be honest. Can't climb that. Can I climb this and then go over? No. Okay. No jump button. Right. Mobius operative. Okay. Ah, there's an operative across the way. Let's go ahead and hide behind this fan. So far I feel like the axe is probably worth more than a couple bullets. More gunpowder. Sorry that this is not an action game like Hi-Fi Rush. I'm really not sorry, but... I wish I could crouch run. Are they talking or just grunting? It sounded like he said, hey. I got a rock. The constant noises are a little bit sucky feeling. Bottle is now hot button two. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Don't turn around, you little shit. Eat. as we were.
I don't understand that. Okay, so dude is getting us caught by zombies is what I caught from this. Oh, so much for my axe. Okay. We have some choices to make. There's a fallen operative up here. There's a building we haven't been in over there. How far away is that operative? Literally right around the corner. Nope. Uh, hello? Okay, so that's- Cat is sleepy. Room. Gonna go to bed. Maybe watch stream from mobile until I pass out lol. That was the thought, yeah, upstairs. And good night, cat. Sleep well. You have had a big week. Cat defended their thesis this week. This game is so tense feeling. Yeah. Who the hell passes a thesis first try and doesn't have to edit, right? It has to have a pattern. We're going to do something really dumb here. Ready? Come back over here. Come on. Turn around, you little shit. Okay, nope, that didn't work. That worked. Well, note to self, knives, knives do not kill them. Ooh, sniper rifle. A broken sniper rifle. Barrel's toast, but the rest of it looks okay. Need to find some parts to fix it. Okay, here we go. Come here, Kerlog. We're on the roof of the building next to the visitor center. I blew up the barrel of the sniper rifle. Need replacement parts, stat. The parts are in the supply shed. Okay, wait, different voice. The parts are in the supply shed across from Union Auto Repair. 
That's all the way up in the northwest corner of town. It's right on the edge of the break. Come on, man. I don't care where they are. Bring them to me before these things find their way up here. Shit, man. Why do I always get the dangerous jobs? Okay. That is a really disturbing image with all the stuff up on the... Oh, hey, stuff. More ammo. Note to self. <laughs> sorry about that. Well, not really sorry. I'm still kind of proud as much about the fact that I feel comfortable doing it. We have enough for an upgrade. I can't see a world where I managed to make that shot. Trouble, baby. I love you. Please stop trying to eat everything you see. Sorry, half a second. Keeping a dog from eating stuff he shouldn't. This, by the way, is how we expect that we'll die the most in this game. You cannot dig in the trash. That is not okay. Don't do that. Back off. No, that was trouble. Giz is totally making her dreams come true. And by that I mean she's asleep again. Amusingly, on top of Trouble's crate that he sleeps in. One of the ways that I know that they're getting along better is that Diz now purposefully goes and lays down on top of Diz's area when he lays down. If he goes into his crate. Originally, it smelled like dog, so she wouldn't go there. I did think about trying to jump off the roof, just so that you know. I'm still annoyed I can't try and kick open the door. The shack across from the center. Sorry, trying to figure out where they're talking about. Has to be back here. Right? Or is it that shack out in the middle of the woods? Okay. I don't know what they meant by the shack across from the thing. That's bugging me. By a tree branch or a zombie leg? Tree branch. Okay. That's a pool of light.
Okay, so that's what they meant. Over here. This repair thing. Right. Love Shack is a little old place where we can get together. So my suggestion is going to be that we... Nope, that didn't work. Ow! Dude threw a fucking axe at me. Oh, they killed the kid. I was literally only responding because kid. Is this maybe the car repair place? New tutorial. Files, I think. Tutorials. Picking oil drums. Well, thank you for that. That was really helpful, guys. Shotgun shells, but I don't have a shotgun. I hear, but don't see a zombie. There he is. There is one on a roof near here, but there's also one right back here in this in this fence. See. Right there? Two. And we are going to leave them the fuck alone. source or something. So, I 
I have a theory. What the? It was not a good theory. Green, which means that works now, so we can go in the building. We already killed everything, so... Oh, I ain't going after that if walls won't stop it. Fuck that. You know what's nice? Stuff doesn't seem to respawn. And no, not a game theory. Fuck Matt Pat. E for up, E for up. Get in the lay of the land. Ah, uh, Wit made a 45 minute video about why it was okay to continue making FNAF material after Scott Cotham went, hey, I'm donating to Donald Trump because I like his economic theory. Yeah, like, not gonna go on a huge rant, but the guy lost my, uh, interest right there. The problem- you know what, I am gonna go on the huge rant. The problem is, his entire, like, thing was, well, it doesn't really matter that he's still getting money. Because after all, there's no such thing as ethical consumerism. Well, I'll just take your goo and this fuse that I don't know what to do with. And uh, this goo. I trouble. You can tell how on edge this game has us. Can't climb that. Don't know why. Can't climb that. Whatever. I'm assuming that I can do something to this. No. Well, the heck with you then. Or that? No. How about these? Can I climb these? Can I just open the door? No.
I literally have a fire axe. Why can't I break that? I guess the real answer is I got a bunch of free shit for doing that. So why am I upset? And there has to be another way in here. I hear a thing. There's too many of them. Okay. If you need to, that is fair. So we're basically just filling up our map right now. We're going to go ahead and try and get to this door. Dead body. Let us know if you need to go to bed. But yeah, go ahead and sleep if you need to. Workbench. I have four, I can make one. I can also get the weapon upgrade. Okay, that might have been a mistake, but now we have a stronger handgun. Rage! Rage against the dying of the light! Another metal pipe. Night, Cory. Yeah, but we could have increased ammo or saved it for a different weapon.
Okay, gonna try going around the building here to that rogue signal. Yeah, true. If I find a better handgun. There's something over here. I hear it. Hey, a key! Trouble, get down. You cannot do that, puppy. It looks like there's something... Yes! Yes, there was! We should go back to that safe room and do upgrades in a little. Camera. Camera! That tells me there's been a horrible death here, because someone photographed it. Oh, well that's good. Yep, there it is. Okay, so that was teaching us about tripwires. Feel like something bad's about to happen. Of 
Lock it up, Chief. No communication from Mobius. We're cut off. I'm calling an Alpha-1 emergency. You know the protocol. Alpha-1. Are you serious? What about the tech team? What about the tech team? Fuck them. Let them fend for themselves. This ain't the Marines anymore. No man left behind don't mean shit in here. You got a problem with that? Oh god. Oh god. No what it looks like. Monster or human. Take it out with extreme prejudice. The hell was that? Whatever it was, it looks like they were here. But where did they go? Huh? More signals. Not sure if I want to run into these two. Sounds like they went rogue. Then again. Weapons are useful. Oh god. Yeah, but they were gonna do Thriller and I'm sick of that fucking song. Okay, that's fair. It's a good time for a stretch. In fact, let's take a second and... Ow, my neck. Let's, uh... I guess it's really about time to go get to the save point so we can save. So I want that APC, or that crossbow, so badly. It looks like to get to it, I'm going to have to, uh... God, I'm gonna stretch some more, actually. Ah. Oh, fuck. You know what? This may work this way. Let's see. There's the APC. We're gonna wander over here and smash these couple boxes we didn't get.
No to south. Don't do that in the future. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Crossbow! Oh shit! Aim. What's draw me? Oh, pull. Okay. Fuses and gunpowder. Got it. That's what all that fuse and gunpowders that we've been getting are. Harpoon bolt. Pale struck opponents make no sound. So okay. Fuck that! I'm out! I know that was supposed to be me dramatically using the electro bolt on the water, but no. No, that's not what we're doing. Okay, I appreciate how the game gave you a tutorial for the shock bolts, but you can just hecking leave if you yeah, choose. Yeah, like, I really appreciated the fact that I could just sneak the fuck off. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go upgrade. Because supposedly there's a wheelchair in the safe house and we can upgrade in the wheelchair. I have not seen the wheelchair. We're going to do something really dumb, actually. First, let's make some ammo. Honey Val really said fuck this shit. I'm out. Look. I am playing a horror game and I'm playing it properly. You don't play a horror game by getting in every fucking fight you see. You judge how much you're going to get from the fight. And then you do that. Like there were six boxes there. Six boxes means I'm going to get stuff to make ammo. Means I might get some health, some parts so that I can craft weapon upgrades. That's a good investment. These dudes are standing on water. Not so much. Oh, I'm not judging you for sneaking off. I'm a cat. I agree with that. I'm judging you for not giving me treats. Just okay, like, look. in general. Just got treats when we went to the bathroom earlier. Now oh, she's asleep. Good, it won't let me make more than I can carry. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> but if that's Diz, we're going to respond about Diz. I 
I have 130 weapon parts. Honestly, that doesn't seem like a great... Ooh, firing distance. That sounds like sniper crossbow, but I am tired enough now that I don't trust myself with that. Let's drink some coffee. Coffee's good. Coffee's good. This game makes me want coffee so much. But instead, water. Okay, so my theory is that if I go through the mirror, I'll be back at my house, right? Yep, we're only keeping two save files. Just enough to go back if we horribly fuck it up. Yeah. So, I think that mirror will lead back to the safe house. Or back to the room. If it does not, if it does not lead back to the room, we're going to go ahead and call it. If it does lead back to the room... Yep, yeah, okay, it did. If it does lead back to the room, we're going to see if we can do the upgrade thing somewhere. Workbench? Wheelchair. Oh, shit! Magic nurse! Magic nurse! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. It told us this was the upgrade. It told us this is how we do upgrade. Oh, my God. Oh, that's disturbing as shit. Oh god. What the hell? Hey, let me out of here. Oh god, she's hot. Castellanos. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome back. You again? How are you here? I could ask you the same question. Regardless, it's nice. I don't to remember who Tatiana face. was. Even if we'll look it up for next for Friday. Too much. You look tired, detective. I can help you get back in shape. Oh god. Just like before. Okay, so she was the upgrade NPC in the last one, probably. Okay, and you do have to do them as a skill tree system. Oh, that's kind of cool. Life gauge maximum doesn't sound as useful. Using healing items. Haven't really had to so far. Wait, what? There sounds like what I need. This whole set. This sounds like everything we need. But let's go look at the combat. That would actually be useful, but not as useful as it sounds. Honestly, my aiming in this game is shit. Like, normally I can headshot. 
and I am having a hard time doing it in this game. I'd like to pretend that that's because of reticle sway. Um, it's actually just because the aim feels slightly off. And not quite reactive. Um, from what we understand... They set up the mouse in this program because it wasn't designed for mouse originally. As a uh, emulated joy co joystick controller, so that may be the problem. Okay. Hey guys. And gals. And those who are neither. What upgrade should we take? I can see how reduced reticle sway would be useful. But I think stealth or athleticism are the direction I'd rather go. Because I think if I go into combat, this is going to become action shooty real quick. You like stealth? Athleticism to me is that thing to help you get away when stealth doesn't fucking work. This is also cheap. We can do this a couple times. I can't quite afford the uh, around the corner attack. Okay. Well, it'll have action shooty, sure. But one of the things I've really appreciated so far... You know what, I'll go ahead and add some health there while we're at it. Okay. The funny part is, the more we avoid combat, the less gel we're going to get for upgrades. Oh, that was, that was creepy. I bet you the chair is back to normal now. Yep. And there's our exit. And where's our kitty cat? Kitty cat bouncing here. I love you, kitty cat. To tell you the truth, in these kind of games, I actually love being able to stealth kill. We're just going to save over that last save that we did. That way we can't go back and change our mind about our upgrades. I think we're going to call it here. Um, it has been about an hour between saves, and it is after 11.30 our time. Which means if we keep playing, we're probably not going to get to save again. So, let's switch to chat mode for a minute. I am going to look up Tatiana so that I can tell you all who that's supposed to be. This is the problem with playing a sequel.